Okay, so my doorbell just rang and I'm assuming that is my FedEx package that I've been waiting for for delivery on. And we're gonna go and see if that's exactly what that is. Oh, yep, yeah. oh, it looks like I got more than one package out here. Oh yeah, good, another monitor is here. We'll talk about that later. Oh, I I guess Kyle wants to see this stuff too. What do you think, Kyle? You excited? I'm excited, but guess what? This isn't for you. This is for the cats, the Litter Robot 3. Cause why not? Let's get cat or uh, technology for our cats as well. Cause that's what we do here. Yay. Okay, so why did I get the Litter Robot 3? Well, I'm gonna show you here in just a second. But we get two new additions to the household, and uh, here they are. That is Bauer on the left, and the smaller one in the back that Bauer wants to be. Are you an attention whore, huh? That's Otis, the little one is. They are Bengal kittens. And I've had multiple cats before, and it's not fun because of that. Ugh, stinks and has to be cleaned constantly and is not fun. So we're gonna do that thing. And I'm super excited. Okay, so let's see if we can unbox this while holding a camera. Oh, this one's almost partially up unboxed for me. Look at that. Oh, that's wonderful. And put the knife away here. What in the world? Oh, those tabs. I wonder it's kind of tough to get out. Wait, is this thing assembled? Oh, I'm excited. What, what do we got here? I don't know what that is. It says carbon filters. Oh, there's, there's filters for this. Okay. And garbage. There are litter bags. Uh, more litter bags. Uh, more litter bags. And more litter bags. What is this? Those stairs. Oh, come on. Cats need stairs to get in there. Throwing that to get inside their litter box. Holy buckets, what do we got here? Um, some rubber thing. Oh, you know, I think that's the mat that they step on to get on there. Is there anything? Nope. 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 Okay. Oh, I can lift this out. Holy buckets. Wow, that's amazing. Here's your radio, folks. Just joking. Let's get this thing opened up. Oh, and that's how they held it on. Does that mean with the heart that it's packed with love? Oh, it's packed with love. Up inside. And holy buckets. There, well, it kind of is a bucket, right? What the? Come on. There we go. Um. Wow. I'm actually surprised it comes assembled. Oh, it's almost assembled. Now it's assembled. With cardboard holders. Let's get rid of those things. Oh, hey. So, that's where the cap litter goes. So when the cat does its business, looks like it's got these little notches here. Cat does its business and it says, oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So it climbs on in, goes inside, and then there will be a whole bunch of litter in there. We'll put litter in. And then it comes out, and then this whole thing turns. And as it turns, See that grate? It sifts out the cat litter, leaving the poop behind. 
and then eventually it gets up to that thing. That's the hole that when it's down there, it dumps the poop into the bottom for easy removal. Now, there's your buttons to control everything. Now what's interesting is this is supposed to have what they call um, connect. It's the Litter Robot 3 with connect. We'll figure that one out. So that way, if I wanna control my cat box for my cell phone, cause why not, then we can. And it looks like we got a cycle, we have power, empty, reset, you know, just your timing, how it cycles, I'm guessing, and whether or not we're ready, which I wanna say we're ready. So let's get this thing all put together. says to the fill line with clumping litter. So where's the fill line? Oh, I see. Probably easier if I just took the top off of this, but you know, why would I do anything easy? See? Dumb. So I'm gonna do it this way. As people always tell me, work harder, not smarter. Wait, that's backwards. What is it? Let's work. Farther? No. You know, we're going out without the fence. The fence is done. I've officially determined the fence is done. Fill it to the fill line that goes all the way around. And now we get it put into place. Time to get rid of that thing. Put that in its place and see how the cats like it. So far the cats like the box because that's what cats do. Okay, so now let's pretend that the cat's gone and done his business, or her business, their business, it business, whatever it is. Depends upon how the cat chooses to relate for that day. And if that cat's over there is done using his paper, it will turn and sift the good litter from the bad litter. The bad litter will have its chunks in there, obviously from clumping litter. And then it'll cycle the dump and dump the dump and the dump chute, poop chute, pee chute, whatever you want to call the chute, that's where it will go. And once it's satisfied that it's done it, that it's done its business, it will then 
cycle back to its original location. What it does, once it gets it litter in there, it cycles a little bit past a start point. That way all the litter can get back to the fill line, it evens it out, and now it's ready to go for the cats to come and do their next set of business. Hey kitties, you guys done playing over there? You wanna come see your new cat box? Oh, you wanna go in, you wanna go in the box. What about the cat box? Oh, come over here, I'm gonna introduce you to, oh, come on. Oh. Yes, oh, the power of the kitty. Oh, yes, you must go introduce yourself to the Death Star box. There it is. Go see what is entailed for you in the Death Star box. Oh, does that look weird? Oh, no, you're not gonna go in this time? You'll wait till later? Oh, I think you should go, oh, you want food. You say, I need food first to go ahead and feel my stomach so that I can go to the bathroom. Yes, very important. What about the other kitty? Let's go see what the other kitty is doing. Oh, come here, kitty. Oh, you are eating a fake feather. It may be a real feather, we do not know. Oh, where are you going? Oh, we're gonna throw this away. That is gross. You got like some goo down there. Oh, are, are we playing dodgeball? But there's no ball. It's dodge me. Oh, now, all right, kitty. Here is your business box. Oh, we leap away. Okay, you come back, check out later. Okay. She's fine. Hi. Mm. Oh, you dropped it. Now, a couple things I do want to mention about this thing is one, it's not cheap. Uh, if you have a single cat, I don't see a reason other than the fact that you just hate cleaning cat litter, which I don't know anybody that does, but I can't see a reason to spend the money on this thing that the price tag is demanding, which is $500, 500. That is a lot of coin. Now, it's even hard for me to say I justify it for two cats. We are gone a lot during the day. So unfortunately, it's a kind of a necessary evil to make sure that their litter is clean. And frankly, I don't wanna clean the cat box. While the kids have said, oh, we're gonna clean the cat box. You and I and anybody else out there knows exactly how that turns out. They start to, but then they don't. So that's where we're at. I love the, the look of it. I mean, it is what it is. It just looks like a kind of a weird Death Star type of thing, but um, uh, it's clean. I noticed that it doesn't really emit a lot of odor. It seems to trap that a little bit. And it does have a uh, filter in it, a carbon filter. So hopefully this thing uh, turns out to be really good for our family and specifically for the cats as they're the ones who have to use it. So that's what it is. We have a monstrous globe Death Star cat box. And that's where we're gonna hopefully have them do their business from now on. And that way after two cats, I don't have to scoop that stuff because it's nasty and you have to do it a lot. Now they say with this thing, you clean it about once a week with one cat and about twice a week with two cats. We'll see on that. Uh, regardless, hopefully you like today's video. It's something a little different. It's technology. Even the cats can like technology. If you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button for me. If you didn't like it, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Hit that subscribe button for me as it is important. It helps you grow the channel. And we will see you next week.